Here's how to easily draw perfect patterns with the pattern wizard. In this example, we'll just draw a silly little bear face. We can start by choosing the circle and ellipse tool here. Left click on that button toolbar. Then left click where you want center of the ellipse to be. And left click again to finish it. Now we can make eyes with the same tool. Left click. You can actually hold down the control key to make a circle. That keeps it the same width and height. While holding that down, left click, and there's an eye. Now to make the second eye, to make it exactly the same size, we'll just copy and paste it. So first we need to choose the select tool. Then click inside the eye. Click on copy and then click on paste. And then we can click, keep the button down, drag the copy over here. Now we could use nose, so we'll choose the circle tool again, or ellipse tool, click in the center, and there's a nose. Uh, you could use ears, the arc tool is good for that. We'll click left click again and that one more click to finish the arc now it starts drawing another arc we don't need another one so you can right click to stop drawing more arcs and now it needs a right ear so click click you can also just double click to add a point and then stop drawing so double left click and there that's done you could use a mouth we'll use the curve tool and this just draws a curve smoothly through as many points as you place. Left click, left click, double left click, left click, left click, double left click. And there we go. Silly little bear face. Now there are other drawing tools. There's the square and rectangle tool, and there's a sketch freehand drawing tool. Or you can just left click and hold and let go and it'll draw a smoother curve through whatever you wherever you move the mouse then the zoom tool left click to zoom in on your drawing right click to zoom out we can turn the grid on and off you can show and hide the points now the fun thing in a program in this program is that you can easily change shape once it's drawn. If you want to adjust the mouse, you can just choose the select tool, left click and drag on any, left click and hold on any point and then drag it around, change anything. Don't exactly want that. You can click undo, and put it back. If you want to make the face a bit taller, you can left click, keeping the button down, let go, click the whole face, and then you can click on these little boxes to change the proportions of it make them a little taller. You can delete anything, uh, double left click on this line, and then choose delete from the edit menu, and that's gone. Now once you have your design drawn, you can print it to any size. It'll be automatically tiled across any pages as needed. You can easily change the size of your design, just select it all again, right click, choose size, make it 30 inches wide, OK. Can't see the whole design, so we'll choose view, zoom all. Now we can see the whole thing again. If you want to see how it'll print out, you can click the print preview button. And that shows you these little dashed lines that'll show where each page, each part of the pattern will be printed. You can also color your pattern in with wood, glass, or solid colors. Or you can add images of your own, of fabric, or anything else, and it'll automatically tell those to fill any of your design.